Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Coming today with Ampic Up. August, a collaboration from some Aussie girls and headed up by Amanda Christina. But unfortunately, Amanda is in hospital at the moment with a broken ankle. Hope you get soon, well soon, Amanda. But we are doing the collab for her. Um, so this week is last minute gifts. Now I am doing a voiceover with this. I did feel this in, film this in real time but unfortunately the volume quality wasn't very good. So my last minute gift is a decorated phone cover. So this is my lovely phone cover and I'm just giving you a little bit of an um, introduction, a bit of a show and tell and then I've got a process video I've tacked on to the end. I did it this way around so if you just want to see the finished project you can see that and then you can see the um, process video if you like it. So this was a cheap case I got from China on AliExpress. It was only about three or four dollars. <coughs> and as you can see, when the video first starts, it was looking really cruddy and really black. And I'd spilt wax on it. And the case itself was in good nick. It was just dirty, and I couldn't really get the dirt off. So the the case was not um, um, falling apart or anything. So I decided to cover it with a napkin. So I used one of these bird napkins. Now I thought the white napkin would go more clear. Um, maybe I should have put a lighter paint underneath. And I was just showing you the couple of paints that I used. It's a uh, I don't know, two paints for my stash. They were too quick for me to grab the names of them. But they were basically a dark blue and a like a turquoisey blue. Just wanted um, that in the background so the napkin um, had somewhere some sort of colour in the background. I love the result and I've been using it a while. I have had to put a bit of duct tape on the folds of the phone because I have noticed that where the phone folds over and where the phone folds at the back, it is cracking. But if it lasts, it's probably been on my phone now. I did this probably about a month and oh, my phone gets thrown in my hand. It gets thrown on the floor. It gets picked up with grubby hands. So it does get quite abused, unfortunately. Um, so even if it lasts a couple of months, um, I'll be happy with that and then I can redecorate it. So just showing you the Mod Podge that I used. I did put several layers of Mod Podge on the top of it, which I will explain more in the process video. Everyone that has seen my phone so far has commented on it. So that has been really cool. Okay. Sorry, there's my trademark yawn. I don't know, I'm not tired when I sit, but when I sit down and do a video, I can't stop yawning. So I do like the, the feel of it. It's certainly a different feel than the, the feel of the case that I had before. So this is more of a plasticky feel and the other one was more like a fake leather. So I'd make a great last minute gift. You did have to order a um, cheap type case that would fit the person's phone or um, that you're wanting to gift it to and then you can decorate it. with a one-off piece of artwork and then give it to them. So we're about to come into the process video. I'm not sure what else I was saying. I obviously waffled a lot on this. As I said, I had to take the voice off and do this voice over because um, the quality of the voice in the video didn't come through very good, unfortunately. I'm a bit of a blue person, so I do like blues and purples, so that's why I chose sort of more to go with the blue colours. I obviously had lots to say when I did this video. I should have sped this bit up, shouldn't I? While I've got a few seconds, please go out and or please go and check out the other people in the collab. There's four or five lovely Aussie ladies that put video up videos up as well for last minute gifts. Um, for Christmas, we had stocking stuffers last last Sunday, so if you haven't watched all of those videos, I will put the links below to their channels, and you'll see all the titles are with Ampit Up August. And for the next two weeks, next week we have, on Sunday, we have another project as well, and then the following Sunday, so all the four Sundays in August, we are putting videos up. There were some fantastic ideas last time last week as well. So we're about to roll into the process video. 
So as you can see, the case was very dirty. Now I do give it a good wipe with some baby wipes just to take any of the surface dust off. As you can see, um, it is quite dirty. It does get thrown, as I said, into my handbag. It gets thrown, um, gets thrown around, gets picked up with dirty hands especially. I'm not sure whether a lot of you do know that I do have a scrapbooking business and I manufacture chipboard shapes and a little bit of uh, it's laser cut, so a little bit of um, black dust gets on my hands, and I'm always picking my phone up with dirty hands because I do t um, use a timer on my phone when my machine's running. So I just grabbed some white Audi um, gesso. Just wanted to put the gesso on to a get rid of that greeny, blacky, yucky colour, and b to allow the napkin a better surface to stick to. So just give it a good old coat of gesso, just being mindful that I'm not trying to get gesso where I don't want to get it. So I'm not wanting to do the inside, this is just sort of the outside cover. I do like the flip covers on my phone because again I do throw it in my handbag in my backpack. Um, so I do like to have the screen protected. So just trying to give it a nice coat. I end up giving it I think two coats of gesso. Um, I did one off screen as well just to give it a nice general coating generous coating of the white. This is Audi Gesso, it was $3 for the little tub, about 250 ml and it's really good stuff. Unfortunately Audi only have it once a year so next year I will have to stock up on it. It's very good product for the price. So just giving that a dry off. Just being a bit mindful that I am not heating the phone case up too much in case parts of it are not heat safe. So I just grabbed a couple of paints, I grabbed a dark blue and more of an aquary blue and decided to just sort of give the background a bit of colour. I knew I was going to use a napkin and you have seen the bird napkin in the front. So I wanted the bird sort of to be flying through the sky. So hence why I put the blue and sort of the bluey green. So just adding that with the makeup sponge. Just sort of making sort of a mottled colour. I obviously put way too much paint out. I didn't need that much paint at all. I love applying paint with a makeup sponge because you can be quite um, precise with where you're putting it and you don't need much at all. So this didn't take much paint at all. If I was going to do it again, I probably would have gone a lighter colour, with the, like a lighter blue, and it may have made my birds stand out a bit more. They do sort of fade in a little, is it? You on again. Oh, terrible. Um, the birds do sort of fade in a bit and don't stand out as much as I'd liked, but I still do like it. I may change it when it gets to being... Um, when it gets to being pretty worn down, I will change it to something else. I may just paint straight on it. I don't know yet. I'll have to see. Oh, I could gel print on it. Ooh, that would be cool. So just giving that again another dry. Just being quite careful of the amount of heat that I'm putting on the um, on the phone case. So just grabbing my bird napkin, grabbing the white backing off, and cutting one of the squares out. It was almost a perfect size. Trying to sort of position where the birds are going to go. I thought this would be a good napkin to do because it's quite abstract, but if you're sort of missing pieces where the holes are or half a bird on the edge won't really matter. I was just trying to see if there was a second layer of napkin, but there wasn't. Now to stick my napkin down, I am using Mod Podge. So just a layer of Mod Podge on your project, place your napkin on top and then a very generous layer on top as well. And what I tend to do is I work from the inside out and you've just got to be gentle and quite soft when you're doing the top so you don't actually tear the napkin. And it still looks quite white at the moment but as you add more Mod Podge and as it dries the almost white part of the napkin fades away. So as you can see it's lapping over the edges and I just go and tear that off um, when it's semi dry and I also tear out that hole where my camera pokes out of the back of the phone. So as I said these would make a great gift, you could personalise them and I do go and tear a bit of the napkin somewhere along the line there. When the napkin's wet you can sort of pinch it off the edge and that's a bit better than cutting it. Um, I do go around and edge it with paint as well to cover up any of that torn mark but sometimes I like that torn mark as well. You obviously get very gooey doing this. 
because I've got Mod Podge all over my fingers. So just trying to poke through that hole when the napkin gets wet with Mod Podge it is quite flimsy so it's good to be able to sort of poke out those holes without much effort and it shouldn't tear out where you don't want it to tear if you're quite careful. So again just giving that a dry off and you'll see when it's completely dry in a minute that it does go quite um, it does go quite sort of opaque it doesn't retain a lot of that whiteness which is really cool. Hope everyone's enjoying their Sunday and enjoying all our Amped Up videos. Now, I actually ended up putting three coats of Mod Podge on and drying the layers in between just to give it a good sealing and a good coating and sort of protect it a bit more as well. May have been my downfall because that if I'd only done one it may have folded a bit more but I learn as I go. So I just grabbed the same paint colours, just wanted to add a bit of paint to the edge just to sort of define it a bit more. I like to give things an edge, a border. And I'm just using up my extra paint on my drop paper. I shouldn't be tired today, it's not that late, it's only about 8 o'clock at night. Um, it's the night before Sunday for this video to go up. So I use those drop papers in my art as well. So just drying off the edges. And then I decided that was the dark blue and I decided to just edge the just do a smaller edge on the edge, smaller edge on the edge, a smaller dusting of the paint on the edge, just to bring those two colours back to the top. I don't even know what that little bottle is, what that brand is. Um, I got it in a class kit quite a few years ago. This year I'm aiming to use up a lot of bits and pieces I have. So instead of going to my big tubes of paint, I'm trying to keep selecting the small tubes that I've got and get them out of my stash. Because at the moment I have two big boxes of paint and seriously that's way too much paint. But unfortunately if I see cheap paint in a craft store, I tend to grab it. Or on sale at Spotlight. I am dreadful. But I am trying to use up what I have this year. Maybe that should be a collab we could do one day with a group of ladies, use up your stash. So again I decided to do another coat of Mod Podge over the top just to seal in the paint and I thought why not add another layer on. So I think it ended up with about four or five layers of Mod Podge so it has quite a glossy look. You can still feel the texture in the napkins um, and there's a few creases in the napkins which I'm not too fatigued about. As I said I've had to put some duct tape on the crease of the, the spine of the phone and I'm going to have to put another piece on um, the back opens up that bit where the big hole is um, sort of splits in two and that started to crack a little as well. But my phone is quite um, abused and thrown everywhere and used a lot so it doesn't surprise me that it has decided to crack. So just drying off that next layer of Mod Podge. I'm not sure why I'm getting those black marks in between my videos. So here I decided to just see if I could bring those birds forward a bit. I grabbed these Faber-Castell brush tip markers. They're Indian ink, so they're permanent ink. Um, at Riot when they had 50% off. I love these for my art journal when they go on you can put them over Mod Podge over like a slick surface then you can smudge as they do dry permanent as well so just going around a little bit of the birds just to make a couple of the grey ones just pop out a bit more I found they just got a bit lost now I don't know whether that's the the colour I think it's got to do with a bit of the colour I put it on it would have gone on a lighter colour it would have gone a lot clearer but I learn all these lessons in my art journaling. So then I grab one of my red markers and just decide to go around the red birds. It just adds, you almost can't see it, but it just adds a little bit more um, definition to the birds. That's what I was looking for. So nearly finished. So thank you everyone for sticking around to the end if you have and go click over to the other channels. The channels, the descriptions will be in the uh, sorry, the channel links will be in the description below. Sorry, I'm losing track. I'm watching my video. There goes another layer of my podge. I think I got like about eight layers on by the end of it. Um, so yeah, go check out everyone's videos. If their videos aren't up at 12 o'clock when mine go up, please be patient and check back later. And I'm sure their videos will be up um, 
soon as some people are having technical difficulties with laptops and internet and life sometimes just gets in the way but we hope you enjoy what we've brought for you and check back next Sunday and the last Sunday of August for more Christmas gift ideas. Thank you for watching and just drying off the last bit of the Mod Podge and thank you for watching. Bye for now.